Hello friends, in trick number 459, we started a series of videos in which we were doing decimal addition. Now decimals can be added mentally, yes, and uh, these methods have to be taught to the students at junior level. Now today we are going to do the second part of this series of videos in which we will be taking up numbers in which there are different number of digits after the decimal place. Now see in this numbers 7.43 we have two digits after the decimal place that is 4 and 3 whereas in this number we have only one digit after the decimal place. So the trick is to first add the numbers which are before the decimal place. So 7 and 5 that gives us 12 and now which are the greater number of digits after the decimal place. We have two digits here so write 43 and one digit here so write 7 and follow it by the number of zeros which will equate the number of digits here. So if it is only 7 then we have to write it there as 70. Now add this you get 113 so write 113 here but since there are two digits here so put a decimal two digits from the right side. Now very easy 12 plus 1 is 13 and 0 0.13 will come as it is. So 13.13 is the sum. So all you need to do is to add the numbers before the decimal place and after the decimal place you have to equate the number of digits like this. Let's take one more example. So this time we have 21.87 and say we have 11.54. Now here the number of digits is same so it uh, eliminates the step of putting zeros. Now we don't need to put zeros so all we need to do is to add the number before the decimal place so 1 plus 1 2 and 1 plus 2 is 3 and now 87 here 2 digits and 54 here just add them so 141 so write it as 1.41 now we can add it 32 plus 1 is 33 and 0 0.41 will come as it is so 33.41 is the answer i am sure with the practice of 15 to 20 minutes taking 20 30 questions like this and practicing it for half an hour will enable you to save a lot of time in decimal calculations now let's take some more examples say we have this time 82.91 and we need it to be added to 9.74 now again the number of digits is same so add these so 9 plus 2 is 11 1 1 carry and we have only a single digit here because no digit at tens place here so 8 plus 1 9 so 82 plus 9 is 91 and now this 91 and this 74 write it one below the other and add them we, we get 165 but we will write it as 1.65 so very easy 92.65 is the sum more examples say we have 146.83 added to 62.5 7, 8. Now see a little bit complicated but we can simplify it very easily. See unit digit here 2 and 6, 8, 6 and 4, 10, 0, 1 carry. So we have only one digit left so 1 plus 1, 2. So before the decimal place the sum of the numbers becomes 146 plus 62 that is 208. And now 83 and 78 to be written one below the other, 8 plus 3, 11 and 8 plus 8 16 so 161 but we will write it as 1.61 now 208 plus 1 209 and 0.61 will come as it is more examples so we have 486.28 added to 23.61 or let's have different digits here let's not put 1 so now 3 plus 6 is 9 2 plus 8 is 10 0 1 carry so only 4 is left so 5 plus 
Now this is 28 and now we have a single digit here so put a 0 like we did in the first example. Now this becomes 88. So uh, we have to put a decimal 2 digits from the right side so this becomes 0 0.88. So your answer is very simple 409.88. Some more examples, say we have 89.89 and 92.36. Again, digits are same, so we don't need to equate it. Just add 2 plus 9 is 11, 1, 1 carry. 9 plus 8 is 17 plus 118, so 181. And now 6 plus 9. 15 by 1 carry and 8 plus 3, 11 plus 1, 12. So we need to put a decimal here, two digits from the right side. So answer is 182.25. Some more examples in which the number of digits after the decimal place are different. Say we have 73.48 added to 61.9. So 1 plus 3, 4, 7 plus 6, 13 added to, now we have to write 48 and below that we have to write 9, so we have to put a 0, so 138, so we will write it as 1.38 and when we add them 135.38 becomes your answer for this question. So I hope you have understood this method and uh, we will take one concluding example, now, now see. 1412.65 added to 381.53. So 1 and 2, 3, 8 and 1, 9, 3 and 4, 7, and 1 is left. So 1 plus, now since the digits are equal, we can add directly 3 plus 5, 8. 6 plus 5, 11. Now 3 digits, so we need to put a decimal here and your answer will be 1793 becomes 94 and 0.18. So students, you see decimal multiplication is based on this trick. So when we will carry forward this method into decimal multiplication, you will find it very easier. So practice decimal addition and I am sure you will save a lot of time in competitions if you practice this. So if you like the video, do share it and subscribe the channel.